Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. Today we are going to learn about connecting to the PostgreSQL using the Prisma in the Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So in the previous video, those who haven't watched my previous video, please go and watch this. This is the extension of the MySQL. In the previous video, I have talked about the how to connect to the MySQL because the steps are like creating the Prisma then generate the schema is the same. Okay. So after that, you have to just go and check out the previous video. Then you have to go to the here Prisma here to change the MySQL with PostgreSQL and here in database URL in the ENV you have to change with your PostgreSQL. So here to copy this one. Okay. Just copy this and add it over here so whatever the database you have just make it make sure everything is there so postgres is the user okay so i need to add my user and here we have the password so admin is my password and localhost this my db so rest api is my db here you can see that the rest api so i have added so make sure the connection string would be perfect then schema then this is the model user that should be created in the rest api database done after this we have to create a new file for this one for the uh, for the create the user so let me copy this and create a new ones like name with server.js and we will run this one server dot js okay so let's save this okay this is done so it will create the user into your postgres equal with the user table right so let's open the postgres sql over here pg admin so it is open now we have the i think test i have the rest api right and here you can see the table and the users okay i think it's a small caps you may be created so let's go and check this one so i need to run the again the db because i need to generate the schema here you can see that the database provider postgres equal specified in your schema does not match the one specified in the migration lock or xml mysql please remove the current migration directory and start from the new migration history okay that means previously we have already um, mysql part right so i think the migration is already there so I need to remove this one. That is a SQL one. Okay. So let me go and just remove the migrations over here. So whatever migration we have. So I need to move that one. And let's delete this one also. Okay. Let's go and run again. Let's see. Now you can see. So you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. Migration name would be user. Okay. Let's. It's created. Let's go and check the tables here refresh and check and here you can see the rest api schemas are there let me refresh this one let me reload and the tables you can see the user table is created right and the migration table is also there okay let's create the user over here so we need to run node server.js right so let's run it user created let's go and check this one okay so just view where is view all rows and here you can see data is inserted right you can add as much as you can and uh, if you if i want to just go with the, like this this john 2 to something let's save it let's hit again again created let's go and check view and the all rows you can see right so that means we have successfully connected to the postgres sql also okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section next video would be the mongodb right so be with me and please do like comment on the video so that more users can come into it okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day